put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Every Israelite that is awakened needs to know what is happening in the world they live in. It is important that you understand the mentality of the heathens you live among. Satan is raging war against you. You have to be able to stand against the kingdom of darkness. Every single one of us have to battle the kingdom of darkness. You are not exempt just because you are an Israelite. The heathens serve idols because their idols give them the desires of their heart. The workers of iniquity will serve their idols to keep the privilege and power they receive. The Most High always warned our ancestors never take on the traditions and customs of the heathens. The Most High made sure to warn his people to never bow down and serve the gods of the heathens. Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God and serve him, and shall swear by his name. Ye shall not go after other gods, of the gods of the people which are round about you. In the present beast system, Israelites have taken on traditions and customs of the heathens. They even serve the heathen gods. The scriptures inform us that the heathens sacrificed to devils and not to the Most High. The scriptures went on to say we could not serve the Most High and the kingdom of darkness. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. Satan's religion system is set up to make you believe you are serving the Most High. Behind closed doors, the workers of iniquity are making sacrifices to Baal and many other idols. Our ancestors took on the traditions of the heathens. The leaders at the time were worshipping idols behind the scenes. The leaders in Israel made themselves appear to be serving the Most High. All of their good works performed in front of the sheep were rituals and sacrifice to their idols. Satan deceived the leaders in Judah to believe that no one will know of the idol worship. In addition, Satan made the leaders believe that Yah could not see the abomination that was taking place in the temple of the Most High. Then said he unto me, Son of man, hast thou seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark, every man in the chambers of his imagery? For they say, The Lord seeth us not, the Lord hath forsaken the earth. There are workers of iniquity in the awakening and outside of the awakening. Everyone must understand that Israelites are not exempt from being a worker of iniquity. Just because Israelites appear to be serving the Most High in the awakening, it does not conclude they are truly serving the Elohim of Israel. If many of the leaders and non-leaders in the awakening were truly serving the Most High, the spirit of division and false doctrines would not plague the Israelite community. Many Israelites are workers of iniquity. Do not exclude Israelites, no point fingers at the heathens only. Remember, a man's enemy are the members of his own household. And a man's foe shall be they of his own household. The book of Ezekiel revealed that the workers of iniquity would rise early in the morning to pray and worship their idols in the house of the Most High. Everything the leaders in Jerusalem learned were from the heathens they live among. The heathens taught the Israelites, and Israelites continue with the iniquity by submitting and accepting the heathens' ways. Then said he unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations than these. And he brought me into the inner court of the Lord's house, and behold, at the door of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar, were about five and twenty men with their backs toward the temple of the Lord, and their faces toward the east. And they worshipped the sun toward the east. Then he said unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? 
Is it a light thing to the house of Judah that they commit the abominations which they commit here? For they have filled the land with violence and have returned to provoke me to anger, and lo, they put the branch to their nose. You can't serve the kingdom of darkness and the Most High. The scriptures went on to reveal Yah do not want his people to have fellowship with devils. Religion is idolatry. The workers of iniquity in the religion system serve idols behind the scene. If the pastors and leaders of religion do not serve idols, their church doors would close. You cannot serve the Most High and pastor mega churches in the beast system. The kingdom of darkness would oppress and persecute the leaders if they are serving the Most High. The media would disgrace and slander the pastors serving the Most High. The beast system would prevent them from becoming rich, powerful, and famous. Only the wicked thrive in the beast system. A good example, Farrakhan. I do not follow his ministry, but look how the beast system persecute him. Many Israelite channels are persecuted and censored. The workers of iniquity are not allowing Israelite channels to grow organically. Could you imagine the destruction if the anointed teachers of the Most High were not censored? Look at the impact the Most High is making through his servants despite the censorship. Many are hearing the truth. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in this world. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Unfortunately, many Israelites have accepted the ways of the heathens. They openly worship idols. Because many Israelites are rebelling against the Elohim of Israel, they are living a defeated life. The scripture said Israelites would serve foreign gods in the land of their captivity. Gods made out of man's hand, wood and stone. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither the Lord shall lead you. And there ye shall serve gods, the work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see, nor hear, nor eat, nor smell. The scripture revealed the idols Israelites serve in captivity are made with man's hands. The heathens made these gods and told you to bow down and worship the works of their hands. If Israelites would take the time to listen and read the Bible, many of the persecutions they face could be avoided. Instead of listening and discerning with the right spirit, Israelites are debating and challenging the wrong things. If Israelites take heed to the scriptures, our conditions would improve and the enemy would be under our feet. You perish for what you do not know. Not knowing is not an excuse with the Most High. The scripture said many Israelites reject knowledge because they reject knowledge, they perish. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. The Israelites that are trapped in religion would not reject this truth if they listen to the Holy Spirit. If Israelites would stop living through workers of iniquity disguised as pastors, prophets, evangelists, and submit to the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Most High would reveal truth to them and tell them the things to come. In addition, prompt them when the workers of iniquity is bewitching them. Instead of waiting on the Most High for confirmation, many Israelites prefer to debate, disregard, and submit to the workers of iniquity, keeping them bound. The doctrines of religion is giving Israelites false hope, in addition feeding their flesh. Before many of us became aware of the reasons the heathens hate and oppress us, our sins testify against us. We followed the heathens. We served the Most High the way the heathens taught us. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Tradition is destroying us. The precepts of men are replacing the Holy Spirit. The truth is being overshadowed with the wisdom of this world. The Most High said the wisdom of this world is foolishness to him. The scriptures reveal the Most High have chosen the people the beast system believe are unschooled to confound the wise. The people the beast system label conspiracy theorists to destroy their doctrines. But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty and base things of the world and things which are despised 
hath God chosen, yea, and things which are not, to bring to naught things that are. The heathens have rewritten history to make themselves appear to be superior and everyone else inferior. The Most High will humble them. Yah said no flesh should glory in his presence. Not even Satan that has exalted himself through religion by taking on the Most High's persona through the false Messiah. But no flesh should glory in his presence. The Most High charged our ancestors to teach their children. In addition, pass down wisdom and understanding of our history to the generations to come. The Most High made our ancestors write down the prophecies and his laws in scrolls. It was important that the elders teach the younger. Unfortunately, our ancestors did not follow the Most High. Our ancestors abandoned the Most High and welcomed the ways of the heathens. They transferred the heathens' traditions to their descendants. The Most High said to our ancestors, be sure to teach the generations to come of his statutes. These words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes. And thou shalt write them upon the posts of thy house, and on thy gates. The heathens do not know the Most High or the Messiah. The synagogue of Satan created religion and a God that looked like the heathens for the world to worship. Before our awakening, Israelites did not follow the Most High nor His laws. Because we did not know our history and background, we perished for a lack of knowledge. Many of us found our freedom because the Most High draw us to Him. The scriptures say you cannot come to the Father unless the Most High draw you. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me. Draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. The Holy Spirit of the Most High encouraged Israelites to seek knowledge. One of the many ways the Most High encouraged us to seek his face was through the identity crisis many Israelites in the diaspora face. While researching, we gain wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. The scripture said, through knowledge would the just be delivered. An hypocrite with his mouth destroyeth his neighbor, but through knowledge shall the just be delivered. Do not despise the spirit of wisdom and knowledge, Israelites. The kingdom of darkness used the beast system to deceive many Israelites to reject knowledge by labeling the awakening conspiracy theories. Slapping the conspiracy label on the awakening will cause many Israelites to dismiss the truth. The religion culture will convince Israelites trapped in the church that the awakening is a cult. Do not settle for the popular belief. There is a vast amount of knowledge the kingdom of darkness do not want you to tap into. The beast system do not want you to go beyond what you can see. For we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. If you could see what the workers of iniquity are doing behind the scenes, you would be appalled. Israelites, religion is home to many high-level workers of iniquity. They need religion to control the masses. Idolatry and witchcraft goes hand in hand. You cannot have one without the other. The workers of iniquity use religion culture to disguise themselves. The scripture says Satan's disciples disguise themselves as ministers of righteousness. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. It should be of no surprise that the workers of iniquity are performing rituals in the presence of the people. When the people are blind, you can hide anything in front of them and they cannot see it. That is how the workers of iniquity are serving their gods and many join them in ignorance. The God the workers of iniquity worship in the church is the God of this world, Satan. The heathens build their altars to the numerous idols they serve. The workers of iniquity deceive the sheep into believing they are serving the Most High. The modern day temples that are truly evil altars are supposed to represent the church of the Most High. Many Israelites are not aware that they are the church. 
the book of Ezekiel revealed many abominations in the temple of the Most High, such as the women crying for Tammuz in the house of the Most High. He said also unto me, Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations than they do. And he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, which was toward the north, and behold, there sat women weeping for Tammuz. I am sure the women are worshipping Tammuz because that is whom their leaders serve. The scriptures say when the righteous are in authority, the people thrive. Black people are the most spiritual group of people on this planet. Black people have been following Christianity for multiple generations, yet their conditions never improve. The black communities are in shambles. The family structure is destroyed, plagued with generational curses. Black people are loyal to their pastors, yet they are not thriving. This should prove to the unbelieving Israelites that the righteous are not in authority in the beast system. The wicked are in power, therefore the people mourn. Black people have been mourning for multiple generations. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Since the righteous are not in authority, it would make sense to flee from religion and everything the beast system has to offer. Israelites and strangers are mourning all over the world. Look what those who are privileged in the beast system are doing all over the world. They have cast the spirit of infirmity against the people through the so-called pandemic. The workers of iniquity are not afraid to worship their idols in what most people believe to be the house of the Most High. The abominations that took place in the book of Ezekiel happened in the temple. The Most High instructed his people to build in the city where he chose to place his name. The abominations are from his people, the elders of the southern kingdom of Judah. Then he said unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? Is it a light thing to the house of Judah that they commit the abominations which they commit here? For they have filled the land with violence, and have returned to provoke me to anger, and lo, they put the branch to their nose. If the people of the Most High are engaged in abominations that are provoking the Most High to anger, what do you believe is taking place in the heathens' church today? Remember, you cannot serve two masters. The scriptures reveal to us that the heathens serve, worship, and make their sacrifices to devils. It is impossible that any Israelite that support the religion culture is serving the Most High. The kingdom of darkness gave the synagogue of Satan the blueprint to set up religion. How can Israelites submit to the religion culture when religion is against them? How can they trust the very people the kingdom of darkness used to keep them oppressed? Many Israelites learned the so-called gospel from the heathens' school system and our ancestors transferring the deadly doctrines to their children. The beast system do not have your best interests at heart. The scriptures inform us that worshiping the idols of the heathens would be a snare to us. They shall not dwell in thy land, lest they make thee sin against me. For if thou serve their gods, it will surely be a snare unto thee. A snare indeed the idols of the heathens are. Many Israelites have traded a spiritual walk with the Most High for religion in the beast system. Many Israelites are trading their glory for the lesser from a lack of knowledge. The Most High is giving His people information that will save them. It is up to individuals to utilize the wisdom. If you're waiting for some flashy pastor to save you, in addition a world-renowned, powerful, mighty leader to defend us, you will be waiting for a long time. The scripture said the Most High did not call the prideful, boastful, lawless people. The Most High will show himself strong through the humble. A meek person will not steal the Most High's glory. Yah chose the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Moses was the most humble man on earth. The Most High used Moses tremendously. Now the man Moses was very meek above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. For ye see your calling, brethren. Are that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called? But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. The fear of the Most High is not in the heart of the heathens. Many Israelites are following the heathens. The heathens are leading Israelites on the broad road to destruction. 
Behind the scenes, the workers of iniquity are sacrificing their entire congregation to their evil altars, manipulating the sheep to cause a separation between the Elohim of Israel and his people. It is time that Israelites wake up from the delusion of religion. Religion is not benefiting black people in any way. You cannot serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth in religion. The truth is not in religion. A half truth is a complete lie. The scripture said, Satan is a liar and the father of it. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Israelites, Nothing that has to do with religion is of the Most High. The false prophets in religion use familiar spirits to prophesy lies to the people. Israelites beware of the wolves in sheep clothing. They disguise themselves to be leaders chosen by the Most High. Yah said he did not call them nor appointed them. The Most High would not choose leaders that are lawless. The Most High would not choose teachers that do not fear him. The Most High would not choose leaders that are prideful. The spirit of pride stems from the kingdom of darkness. The scripture said to fear the most high is the beginning of knowledge. The workers of iniquity do not have knowledge. If they were wise, they would never serve the kingdom of darkness. Israelites, it is time that you open your spiritual eyes. Look beyond what is in front of you. You cannot serve the most high and the kingdom of darkness. Everything in the beast system goes against the will of the most high in your life. The Most High do not want His people to follow workers of iniquity. It is time to disconnect from the beast system. The time is now. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king, and without a prince, and without a sacrifice, and without an image, and without an ephod, and without teraphim. Afterward shall the children of Israel return, and seek the Lord their God, and David their king and shall fear the Lord and his goodness in the latter days.